we learnt about leaves. Now, a small exercise for you. Let's see how good you are. Whether your memory is good, okay? Now, can you name, name any two leaves? For this word wall, remember, you have to know the names, spellings of the leaves. Banana leaf, mint leaf, mango leaf, drumstick leaf. So, now, we're going to do a short exercise on the leaf. So, the first one I have here is name. Any two. Name any two leaves. Any leaves, okay? Any two leaves, you can name anything. Next. Name any two edible leaves. Next is, name any two edible Edible leaves. Next, name any two medicinal medicinal leaves. Next, name any two large leaves, large leaves. Next, name any two tiny leaves, any two tiny, very small. Okay, now let's see if you can name this. What about name any two puja time when you you use leaves? Name any two name any two leaves used. Name any two leaves used for festivals. Festivals time, you use some leaves. Now, can you answer them all? You are very clever, aren't you? Any leaf, you can put anything. Name any two leaves, you can say banana leaf, Banana leaf. Okay, mango leaf. Good. Mango leaf. So, any two leaves. Here you are talking about leaf that you can eat. Any two edible leaf. What will that be? Drumstick leaves. Good. Drumstick leaves. And you can say mint leaves, mint or pudina, mint leaves. Next, medicinal, two medicinal leaves, very good, neem leaves, neem leaves and very good, tulsi leaves, tulsi. Next, what the next? Name any two large leaf. That is coconut leaf, good, and banana leaf, coconut. Coconut leaf, banana leaf. Next, what the next one? Name any two. Tiny leaves. Again, that is drumstick. Very good. 
drum stick leaves and coriander leaves very good and coriander leaf finally name any two leaves used during festival what is that banana very good and mango banana and mango leaves are used during festivals now to do this we learn we should learn the spelling correctly banana drumstick neem coconut coriander so learning spelling only when we do spelling then we can write all now name any two leaves one banana leaf mango leaf name any two edible leaf you can eat it coconut drumstick leaf mint leaves you can make chutney out of that mint name any two medicinal leaves neem leaf every day if you eat a raw leaf it's very good for health tulsi leaves when you have a cough mummy gives you tulsi leaf to eat name any two large leaves coconut leaf and banana leaf name any two tiny leaves drumstick leaves and coriander leaves during festivals you use leaves name any two leaves used for festivals banana and mango leaves of our home we take a walk and what do we see we see a plant now i'm asking you a question can you name if you bring a plant or if you pull out a grass can you name the parts a plant just like we have body parts hands head body leg a plant also can stand like you and me where does it stand on the ground and what do you call the legs of a plant root the hands of a plant you can either say leaves or you can say branches the colorful part of a plant the attractive part that's a flower then after the flower what will come out fruit and inside the fruit what is there seed then there are other part of the plant that makes it green what is that leaf so a plant has several parts so we are going to learn to draw a plant look at a plant come back to the class draw the plant and also name the parts of a tiny plant parts of a plant we going to learn to draw learn to name parts of a plant learn to name the parts of a plant first of all let us draw the plant now here you have a plant and you have root what is this roots then you have all right leaves what are they leaves so first we are drawing leaves then all right we are drawing leaves then we have flower then we need to draw fruit okay now a plant has 
first let's decide what are they we have roots and we have leaves here we have lots of leaves then we need to have a flower a plant has a flower here is the lovely little flower for the plant okay there are flowers in a plant leaves then there are fruits the flowers become the lovely fruit right the flowers becomes the fruit a lot of leaves for the plant you look at your own plant and you draw okay now we have roots this is a root going right down all these are roots now there are two main parts of a plant from here till here is one name you call and from here till here is another part there are two parts a plant has got two parts one that's above the soil this is the soil so what grows above the, what you see with your eyes this you do not see you cannot see this it is there below you cannot see and what you see below is when you pull it out and we call that root the legs of the plant root you must learn the spelling root root is what you see under that is the legs of a plant then you have leaves flowers fruits branch all these together we call shoot shoot what grows above the soil is shoot what grows below the soil is root now what about the names of these okay let us now write down the name for each of this what is this what is this what is this and what is this okay so you have leaf flower fruit stem okay and then you also have branches so we can say what is this okay the first one leaf how do you spell l e a f l e a f leaf all the green tiny things are leaf and what is this beautiful one flower flower now what is this branch the plant has branches branch then what is this that's the fruit uh the flower becomes the fruit fruit and finally what do you call this part where the plant is standing up okay what do you call this this is the stem stem so now we learned the parts of a plant 
a plant can stand with the help of the root and the root is below the soil a plant stands above the soil and we call that a shoot and then you have stem which stands straight you have fruit you have branch you have flower and you have leaf we need to learn the spelling of all this to help us to do the writing so we need to learn the spelling of all this root shoot plant and all that okay so what did we learn today we learned the names of the different part of a tiny plant what is above the soil shoot what is below the soil root what is root root is the leg of the plant and what is the most colorful part of the plant the flower what is the edible part of the plant the fruit what is inside the fruit a seed now what are the hands of the plant branch what help the plant to hold up the plant is lovely nicely that is the stem what gives coloring to the flower plant leaves lots of leaves give lovely coloring to the plant and you like to collect all the leaves is it it huh the leaves make the plant fresh and lovely